Hi, thanks for watching the video about Ford Explorer provides rapid response to remote emergencies. Everybody can't be saved, but we can do the best we can for those patients in a critical time. When I started, it was about saving the lives. Um, now I think it's more about making a difference in the life of people needing urgent care. I work in a rapid response vehicle, um, also named the doctor car, but at our station we just call it the Explorer. My name is Eric, I'm a specialized paramedic. I work in Haugesund that is located on the west coast of Norway. A normal day for, for me uh, is um, very much a routine. Our shift starts at 7.30. We're a big team here, like a family. But at any moment, a call can come in, and it normally does. Our well, first call uh, comes uh, during the first hour of the shift. Every moment counts in an emergency. We expect the worst and we prepare for it. Upon arrival, I started to, um, to check our airways. And the team from the ambulance uh, supported me and uh, we, we tried to to, to talk to the patient, but there were no response. So it is a potential critical patient. We see emergencies and several emergencies every day, but the caller or the patient may sometimes experience uh, things like this just once in a lifetime. So for them, it's uh, hyper dramatic, but uh, for us, it's more like routine. The Explorer is an uh, addition to the uh, normal ambulances, but um, the special thing about this car is we have a uh, doctor on board, and that is an anesthesiologist that normally works in the operating theatre, and um, a specialist uh, paramedic that is trained in anesthesiology and uh, in intensive care medicine. Well, it isn't always to drive as fast as possible, but to, to manage to get through traffic in a safe way and, and also get fast from A to B. So we have to focus on uh, the smooth driving and also the safe driving. We got a call uh, about 40 minutes before our shift ended. Of a lifeless person found on a pavement. So um, when we arrived uh, and got out of the car, we immediately recognized this as a cardiac arrest. So we just planned for the worst uh, because we know that if the if it's a cardiac arrest, every second counts. We managed to, to start the patient's heart um, after the th third shock. We had to breathe for the patient, but the heart was, uh, heart was beating. When I'm reaching the end of my shift um, and the, the uniform goes back into the, the, the closet, um, there's actually a, a clear cut uh, when I put my civilian clothes on. 
And then I leave my, my work thoughts behind me and uh, I'm preparing to, to go home to, to my dog, to the house um, and to my children. I actually charge my batteries. I'm really passionate about this and I can't actually think of anything else I want to do than um, staying in the field of emergency medicine. I don't only want to save lives, I want to change lives.